Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I'm with eWrench.com. This video is about how to do a manual install of Jython into Ubuntu 12.04. Jython is a version of Python written in Java. As such, Python programs can import and use Java classes. Jython also has most of the Python modules available to it. My original purpose in using Jython was doing some work with students using the Finch robot. A software for the Finch robot was written in Java, and a Python implementation for the robot required Jython 2.5.2. Unfortunately, Ubuntu repositories only have up to version Jython 2.5.1, so this will be a manual install of the latest or current version of Jython, which today is Jython 2.5.3. So the outcomes for this video will be to download and install Jython 2.5.3, install PyDev into Eclipse because that will give us uh, an IDE to work with Jython, and then create a Hello Jython World program to verify everything works. Requirements, Java 1.6 or higher. This version uh, that you're going to see is using the OpenJDK. I've also used the uh, Sun Oracle version and it worked in both versions but I haven't really checked all the technical details and Eclipse and for additional information you could go to the Jython project page or check some more information out on Wikipedia. This is a Jython organization page www.jython.org basically gives information about the Jython product project Jython, Python for the Java platform. Anyway, it says that 2.5.3 final has been released. Now I need a minimum of 2.5.2 for my Finch project, but we'll take 2.5.3 since it's got some, uh, on, if you check the release notes, which I'm not going to bother, you'll see it's got some improvements or some bugs fixed. Before we download, let's look at the installation. And you'll notice that the installation right here only covers 2.5.2. But that's okay, because the directions are the same, pretty much, for 2.5.3. And in order to do this, installation make it a little bit easier, I'm going to copy this. And we're going to use a console bit. And the reason I'm going to use a console is because with this other one here, what you'll get is you'll get a, a, a window that comes up. But if for some reason it doesn't install, there won't be any error messages. But if the console doesn't install, you, you'll see the error messages. So I'm highlighting the console, do a copy, and just hold on to it for a second. I go back and we'll download. And we'll download Jython 2.5.3. And in this case, it's we're going to do the Jython installer and download jar, the jar file. And we're going to save the file into our downloads directory. Once it's downloaded, let's open up a terminal window. If you don't have a terminal showing, all you have to do is type in a TER terminal. Terminal window will show up. We're going to go to CD Downloads and do an LS, and there's the file. So before we install, let's make a directory for it to install it. And I'm going to install in the op directory and make it make dir-p for parent in case and v for verbose op for options and we'll just make it simple here and jython so we could say 253 252 whatever you want of course we're going to have to do a sudo in front of that and just hit enter and the directory is cr created now, uh, so let's go ahead and install it. We'll do sudo. Then we're going to do the paste. We're going to have to make some changes here. Do a three. For some reason, they changed the underscore to a dash here. So let's run it in the console mode. Welcome in, says, please select your language, English. I assume the G stands for German. You don't have to put in a capital E, just a small E will work fine. If you want to read the license, you can read it. I'm not going to do it on this video, so I'll put an N for no. 
To accept a license, of course, otherwise you're not going to get it, yes. And the following installation types are available. All standard, minimum, standalone, and so we're just going to, I'm going to put in everything, one. Please select, uh, do you want to exclude parts from the installation? I'll put in a no. Please enter the target directory. In this case, it's opt jython. Please enter the Java home directory. And we can just take, since there is a default Java on this machine, we'll just enter it. And it says your Java version is to start Jython as Sun Microsystems. Now that's very unusual there because if you go and look at up here, it says Sun Microsystems. And here is the open JDK because that's what's on this machine. But I've installed Jython on both the Oracle 7 and the open JDK. And it seems to work fine on both of them. Uh, though I'm not sure when you're getting into some real... Uh, technical uh, details, uh, which is actually better, but it might be that the uh, Oracle Sun version might be better simply because they're putting it up here. We'll just simply put in a Y. And it goes about installing. And you want to show the contents of the README file. And so we'll take a quick look at the README file. It basically says numerous fixes numerous bugs since 2.4. 5.2 release. You know, it tells you where report bugs. And um, so let's and press enter to proceed. Jython is installed. The next session will uh, cover how to add PyDev to Eclipse. In this section of the program, we're going to install PyDev into Eclipse for use with Jython. So go ahead and start Eclipse. I'm just accept the default workspace. And we'll go to help and install new software. Now, one thing I want to caution you about, if you've used Synaptic Package Manager or this software installer, the Ubuntu software installer or app to install Eclipse, and then you go check for updates, there's a possibility you can lose your perspectives, Java perspective, so never use this. If you've in, used Synaptic or the Package Manager or App to get install to check for updates, because there is a possibility that something will happen that you'll lose your perspectives. But I've never had that happen yet so far with install new software. And the problem only seems to prop up or come up with Ubuntu 12.04. I've never had it happen with Ubuntu 10.04, a previous version. So we'll go install new software to get to PyDev. I'm going to type in this site. HTTP PyDev.org updates Let's get rid of that first T. Add. And we'll just simply call this PyDev. Click OK. And we're going to select all uh, because Mylan helps you with your um, context sensitive information. Click Next. And it will trundle along and run. Click Next. And you'll have to accept the terms of the license agreements. I'm just going to finish it. And we're going to let it run. And you'll get a security warning. Your installed software contains unsigned content. Go ahead and agree to this. Click OK. And we're going to select all, or you can just check it. Click OK. And it says you'll need to restart clicks the Eclipse platform for installation changes to take effect. Just click restart now. And we'll restart Eclipse. And we'll click OK for the workspace again. 
And so we'll go to File, New, Project. And you'll see we've got the PyDev projects. We've got PyDev Django, PyDev Google App Engine, and PyDev Project. Next section, we're just going to write a simple Hello World program to verify that everything works. Here we are. We're going to start a new PyDev project. If you recall, essentially I'm going to File, New, Project, PyDev Project, and simply click on Next. And we're going to give it a name. Hello, Jython World. In this case, we'll use default workplace. Choose the project type, Jython. And we're going to have to configure the interpreter. Auto config won't work in this case. So we're just going to click OK here, and we'll just put in a new. And we're going to browse to the interpreter. It says Jython installer 2.5, but that's not where it's actually the jar file that we need. We're going to go to the file system. And if you recall, we put it in opt. And then Jython. And there it is, jython.jar. Click OK. And we'll just call this interpreter name, we'll call it jar or however you want to name it, and click OK. I'm going to select all not in workspace. Click OK. Those are folders that should be added to your system Python path. Click OK. Probably got too much, too many things for a simple hello world program, but that's it. We'll click finish. This kind of project shows you with a PyDev perspective. Do you want to open this perspective? And we'll say yes. Now here we have the project, hello Jython world. And inside this project, we're going to get a new PyDev module. And we're going to give this name, we're going to give the name here. Hello, Jython, module main, click finish here. Instead of pass, we're just going to say print. And if you're familiar with Python 2.0 or versions 3, you can use the opening and closing, but you don't have to because this is Python 2.7. Say hello, Jython world. A couple of explanation points. And then we're going to run as, and we're going to make it a Jython run. It'll say, save it as Jython.py. Always say, click OK. Now you'll see this, can't create this package here. And this is where uh, some information is uh, being stored. So in order to fix this, you can go over here and uh, create this directory and give it a 777 privileges or give it read, write, and execute privileges. But I, I'm going to just create something on the home directory. And I'm going to come over here to your home folder. I just right click and create a new folder and just call it Jython stuff. However you want to name it, uh, just so you can, or Jython cache or however you, you want to name it. Once it's created, make sure that the name sticks there. Close it. We're going to have to actually go in there and configure the run configuration. Run configurations. Hello world, Jython Pi, and we're going to go to the arguments section, and we're going to put in dash d, uh, not Java, d Python dot cac cache dir the cache directory home mic. So essentially, this is what you're going to have to do should run now.
click run. Gives you all this information that's that it's going through. And here's Hello Jython World, but this only comes through the first time. If I run this again, and run, you'll only see uh, the Hello Jython World. And that's how you create a uh, Hello Jython World program. And that verifies that Jython's working and that PyDev is installed in Eclipse. And that's it. Thank you.